Hey, how you doing? Today we have the Billings Vitaloy model S1410. It's the handle. Has a hole in the handle. And the back has Made in USA. And it has the letters B inside triangles. It's raised leathering, not stamped. So this is probably an early example. From what I read, these were made from the very late 40s until the very early 60s. See the handle is very flat. That's the profile. Okay, let's take a look what's inside. These are the screws. I can't tell if they're original or not. They look pretty old. Okay, just flip it over and give it a little push. And now it comes with plate. So look at the plate. Looks like it was chromed. Some of it's coming off there. Pretty thin. Pretty thin plate. Not very heavy. As compared to a, a snap-on plate from around the same era, you can see the snap-on is like almost twice as thick. It's pretty, pretty hefty. So, kind of a lightweight plate. Here's the gear, 24 teeth, it's the ball detent, fairly tight, not super tight. Looks like it was machined a little rough also. If you look at the sides here. The same striation on, on all the sides. Okay, that's the internal mechanism. Same design as you see on a lot of older, like Armstrong or Proto Plum ratchets. A lot of a lot of ratchets today still use this design. Get these springs out. That's what the springs look like. And spring on the other side. And these are the 
There's a pause. There's two pauses. They look like it's like two teeth for engagement there, or two two step teeth, and it's held in place sort of by this little this little rod. And it goes into the hole. And the end of the little bolt goes into that hole there and kind of keeps keeps the pole lined up. There's the other pole. Same thing basically. Here's the interior of the mechanism housing. As you can see, it's pretty rough in there. They machined it kind of, kind of rough. You can see all these machining marks. Not particularly thick, but not super thin either. I guess it'll work. That's the pendulum for the switch. Switches the paws over. to put this back together take your paws with the with the posts insert it and you put one on each side on the corresponding side make sure that the teeth are pointing this way towards the gear Like that. Then you take your springs with the flat side against the wall here, the flatter side with the pointier side against the paw. And you slide it in like that. Maybe like half halfway down. Like that. You kind of switch it over so you can put the spring on the other side. Same thing. The large loop of the spring against the wall, the smaller one against the, the paw. in there okay now you insert your gear that's how it engages the gear with the paw
put your flute back on. And we screw it down. Next screw. Screw it down. Don't go too tight on these screws because this thin plate I think you might strip it out <laughs> if you go too. You start yanking on it, putting a lot of torque. So, that kind of finger tight will be good. And there you have it. Billings Vitaloy. S1410. So, and again, if you like these videos, just give me a like. And if you could, could you please give me a, a subscription? It would be very appreciated. Okay, thanks. Till next time. Bye.